There are a lot of different paper pads that you can use for brush lettering and calligraphy. And today I'm gonna to share with you which one is my favorite. Hi everyone. There's a lot of questions often about paper pads and which one to use to practice. So of course you know that I say don't use anything blank. Always use something with lines. Usually you see me using the grid pad. I use the grid pad because it's super user friendly for both large and small brush tip pens, actually any size of brush tip pens because you can follow the squares for the heights. Now, when it comes to my large brush pens, I actually do have a preference. I love this lined paper pad. Why? Because I don't have to count squares. Uh, the height the X height and the heights for my guidelines are right here. They're just simplified from squares into the line. So I'll show you um, what I mean by that. So you know the X height is that guideline for the lowercase letters. So let's say we've put it right here and there you go. That's an easy X height to have. You have um, your baseline, your waistline. I in general use just the four lines so I'll just write them here. A center line, um, and we have the waistline, the baseline, and the descender line. Uh, I find that this is just simpler for me, and when I teach, I can, I also adjust my capital letters to be a little lower than this, and my T to be lower than this as well. Um, to be lower than the ascender line. And sometimes my descender loops go below the descender line. But regardless, these four lines are right here on this line pad, and I don't really have to think about it. So I'm going to grab the uh, dream pen. I'll use the large tip. There's two tips here. So let's say I was practicing any basic strokes or letters, uh, or let's say I was practicing my overturns. There you go, I have the two lines that are going to guide me for my overturns. If I'm practicing a letter, let's say the letter A, here is my letter A, I have my X height is easy, there are the lines. Let's take a look at an ascender loop, um, the letter H, so I have the top ascender line, there it is, I don't have to look or count squares, and then my X height for my compound curve. Same thing with the descender. If I'm drawing um, a letter, let's do the letter J, keep it simple. I start at the waistline, I come down past the baseline, draw my loop and exit, and there is my descender line. So using this line paper pad is just a really easy way to practice with any large or medium brush tip pen. So give the line pad a try. I think you'll love it as much as I do. The, uh, it comes with, I think, 50 sheets. They're super smooth. Oh, and the great thing is you can use both sides. So it's nice, thick, heavyweight paper. It's very smooth and use both sides so that, you know, we don't waste um, too much paper. Also, these pads are perforated at the top. So I'll just show you. Um, right there, they come out quite nicely. When I do remove them from the top, all of my paper pads, I just wanna emphasize that I do put my finger underneath and give it a push at the fold so that it tears quite nicely. All right, so I hope you um, can enjoy practicing with this line paper and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.